Bonsoir à Patrika TV. Bonjour, nous sommes ici à Washington DC, Georgia, venus pour assister au lancement euh, des travaux de la campagne euh, lancée à Washington DC. Euh, le nom de la campagne s'appelle DC One Fund. Ça veut dire que euh, il y a eu des fonds qui sont mis à la disposition des petits moyens d'entreprise. Et ce lancement de projet sera fait tout à l'heure dans un tout petit instant par le maire Vincent de la ville de Washington d'ici. Le voilà le maire Vincent, son arrivée, euh, il va faire ce lancement euh, devant euh, ce parterre de sécurité et de médias. Il a tenu à ce que Afro Africa TV soit présent parce que dit il sait qu'il y a un bon nombre d'Africains qui vivent dans la capitale Washington d'ici. Et le maire Vincent Gouet a tenu à ce que les médias africains soient aussi présents. Raison pour laquelle nous avons été interpellés. Afro Africa TV, comme d'habitude, vous préférez vendre. Dit je serai toujours là pour vous servir. De tout éclair, nous sommes là à Georgia Avenue pour le lancement de la campagne des dons euh, mis à la disposition par le gouvernement américain des petits et moyennes entreprises qui vivent et qui sont basées sur la localité de Washington. Nous allons écouter le maire des Sandrine. Nous avons Georgia Avenue, qui nous savons que c'est un issue, given the uh, changes that have taken place uh, at Walter Reed. And there's some other areas that we're going to assist also, but today the uh, most important is uh, the Georgia Avenue Court. Uh, let me first talk a little bit about the history of what's happened uh, in Walter Reed. And some of what we'll recall in 2006, uh, then Mayor uh, Anthony Williams um, convened a committee to support the activities of the uh, district's local redevelopment uh, authority. Uh, that was designed to guide the reuse, the planning of the reuse uh, of the Walter Reed uh, campus as Walter Reed itself. Uh, was beginning to move to Bethesda. Um, there was a lot of community engagement uh, during that period, uh, as many will recall, uh, on the future use of the uh, Walter Reed campus. And initially, we were there just simply to coordinate uh, what was going to happen uh, with the use of the Walter Reed uh, campus, uh, working with GSA and the Department of State. Uh, but along the way, a few years later, we were given the opportunity uh, to uh, have access to the to a southern portion uh, of the property, which added to what we uh, had. Uh, and then again in 2011, August of 2011, because we had an announcement here, uh, we added more area uh, to what would then be the uh, area to be developed by the District of uh, Columbia. Um, the planning that has occurred uh, generated a cohesive uh, set of recommendations uh, on how to redevelop the uh, surplus portion of the plan. And uh, I think demonstrated a commitment uh, by all those involved to really work effectively together to make this uh, happen. Uh, the site is now being uh, prepared for redevelopment over what will be 3 million, 3 million uh, square feet which, of course, makes it one of the largest projects ever uh, in the history of uh, our city, uh, comparable to uh, the San Elizabeth's uh, redevelopment, which is now actively afoot uh, as well. And I see we've been joined by our uh, Deputy Mayor for Planning and Economic Development. I'm going to ask him to come up and join me and say a few words uh, after uh, I uh, finish. Uh, we have had to work on the homeless uh, assistance uh, submission and the draft uh, reuse plan. That plan, those plans were approved by the council last July uh, and now are going on to HUD. Uh, we don't know precisely when those plans will be approved, but it probably will be several months uh, before they are uh, finalized. Uh, we had an event for the LRA uh, members uh, just a couple of weeks ago, and I want to again uh, thank them, especially the city citizen members. Uh, for having worked hard with us to be able to get us uh, to this stage. I also want to thank those uh, local officials, local elected officials who work with us uh, as well, and there are a number of them. Um, the uh, city also won an award. I don't know whether you all know that. We announced it when we honored the uh, LRA committee members. Uh, it is the uh, from the National Capital Area Chapter of the American Planning Association and as an award for outstanding neighborhood or small area uh, plan, which is a very, very significant uh, award. Um, 
Now, today, we're moving forward with an additional milestone, and that is announcing the Walter Reed Community Advisory Group, which will help to now uh, help work with us on overseeing the implementation of the plan that was so diligently worked on by the uh, previous uh, group. Uh, they'll be working with our Deputy Mayor uh, and also the uh, Walter Reed project team, first of all, in selecting a master developer uh, to be able to oversee uh, and help this project to unfold. Uh, we're also going to enter into uh, <clears throat> the, an agreement with the uh, Army uh, that will outline the transfer requirements, which still uh, have to be uh, finalized. Uh, the group that we're announcing today is comprised of members with uh, a good deal of real estate, community, retail, uh, veterans affairs, educational experiences, uh, and others, in essence, a broad-based group. First of all, and uh, those who are here, I know not all could be here today, but if any of them are here, we'd love to have you come up and be introduced. Uh, ANC 4A03 Commissioner, uh, Commissioner-elect, I should say, Steve Watley, uh, a long-time uh, activist uh, in the city. Margaret Singleton, who's Executive Director of the D.C. Chamber of Commerce uh, Foundation. Tim Shai, who's President of the... Tim, how are you today, sir? Uh, who's President of the Shepherd Park Citizens Association, uh, and also an uh, owner of the Lido's franchise, <laughs> too. <laughs> Got a good product, man. <laughs> you know, if, I don't, if you don't mind me saying so, when we had the budget meeting uh, over at Shepherd, uh, Tim willingly stepped up and made pizza available for uh, everybody who came. And I want you to know how grateful again uh, we are for that kind of spirit. Oh, I'm going to have her come up to us. <laughs> no hiding today. <laughs> Jones, who is the uh, Ward 4 representative for the uh, D.C. Veterans Affairs Advisory Board. Uh, Alice Jean Cole. Alice, I see your other half here, Tony, yes, with us here today. <laughs> uh, and Randall Clark, who is the Mid-Atlantic Real Estate Manager uh, with McDonald's Corporation, uh, an alternate citizen member uh, of the uh, LRA uh, committee. And uh, Camille Anderson who is a member of the State uh, Board of uh, Education. Why not? And thank you. You've been at the Board of Education for a while, haven't you? Thank uh, you so much for your work. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't know a lot about uh, the State Board of Education. Yeah, I actually know quite firsthand how hard you all work because you have responsibilities for so many of the policies that affect the city, across the city, the charters as well as the uh, traditional public schools. So, Thank you very much for the work that you do uh, every day. Um, in any event, I want to thank all of you once again for agreeing uh, to do this. Uh, we, of course, intend to have the committee uh, to, be, to continue to be directly involved and actively involved uh, in this project. Um, there will be notices that will be published of the completion of the uh, Office of Planning Small Area Plan uh, zoning revisions, historic preservation review, and the selection of a master developer, uh, all of which are very significant uh, uh, activities that are yet to come. Um, you know, after, this is the second part of our announcement, after Walter Reed closed, and even before that, we knew that we were going to be facing a period when uh, there would be a significant drop-off. Uh, and business done along Georgia Avenue because such a huge part of the customer base was leaving the area and going to uh, Bethesda. And I want uh, folks to know that we're not insensitive uh, to that. Uh, so today, I'm uh, delighted to be able to announce uh, the commencement of a new grant program, uh, Great Streets Project Grants. Uh, they will involve other areas, a couple of other areas uh, of the city as well, but most specifically and, and of major import for this session is uh, the, the Georgia Avenue area and then grants that will be awarded along 7th Street, uh, which of course contiguous uh, to Georgia Avenue and uh, the North Capitol Street uh, corridor. Um, those grants are designed to support uh, small businesses, to attract new businesses, 
and to increase the district's tax base and to, to create new jobs uh, for uh, people who are the, uh, you know, the residents of the district, especially in our small businesses. And we know that the small business component of our city is very much uh, a part of the backbone of how we uh, operate economically uh, here in this city. Uh, there will be other areas that will be uh, awarded grants as well, a couple of other areas, and I won't bother to go into those today. Uh, the grants will be as much as $80,000, but more than likely, based on what the need is, to be somewhere in the neighborhood of twenty-five dollars to $35,000, which means that there probably could be as many as 20 businesses uh, that will receive grants uh, along Georgia Avenue uh, to help uh, with this hiatus as we move to uh, another uh, another phase of the development of this area of the city. Uh, the grants can be used for retail facades, they can be used for uh, space and other improvements, and um, I think we will be ready to start to uh, receive proposals very soon, and uh, hopefully the first grants will be awarded not later than February uh, of 2013, just a couple of months down the road. So. This is not a long time in the uh, offing. Uh, we've got two websites that folks can go to, greatstreets.dc.gov and walterreedlra.com uh, to be able to get more information. walterreedlra.com and greatstreets.dc.gov. Oui, c'est dans le maire uh, Gray de Washington dit ce qui vient de donner ouvertement hein, le lancement du programme euh, de soutien mis par le gouvernement américain dans la zone de Washington dit pour les petites et moyennes entreprises pour enfin les encourager à investir, à créer les nouveaux boulots, à payer, à, 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 à augmenter le paiement des taxes dans cet arrondissement. Il dit que euh, le gouvernement a mis en place trois millions de dollars pour euh, encourager les petites et moyennes entreprises et chaque entrepreneur peut aller jusqu'à 80 000 dollars d'argent de, de soutien. En plus, euh, il dit que euh, avec ça, ils espèrent créer au moins 25 euh, nouveaux euh, mal, euh, petites entreprises. Euh, il a dit que l'impact que, que l'hôpital a créé à euh, Ouattari à, qui s'est déplacé vers Bethesda a laissé un vide dans la région et les zones qui seront euh, directement euh, qui vont directement avoir l'occasion d'être approuvées pour ce loan c'est les gens qui sont autour de Georgia Avenue jusqu'à cette, euh, cette avenue et à nord capitole nord-est euh, c'était donc vraiment le maire de Sangré il encourage les petites et moyennes entreprises à appliquer à ce programme, pour ce programme. Par ailleurs, il a dit que le délai euh, des, des dossiers sera jusqu'au mois de février 2013. Donc, les entrepreneurs jusqu'au mois de février 2013 pour déposer la candidature. Also, um, he's not here, um, but he did a great job as co-chair um, was Alan Liu, um, the city administrator, um, who is, is, as everybody knows, is the, the get it done um, Alan Liu. <laughs> yes, he's, uh, he's an amazing uh, individual, and he just, um, I don't know, I guess he just loves work, man. He's, he's he's a, a, he likes to be able to see an accomplishment. He does, he does, he, he does. And, and also, I, we need to thank the city council um, for all of their support. I don't see Councilwoman Bowser here, but um, she's been tremendously supportive of this process and, and really has um, lent a hand in, in helping to get this done. Um, in terms of Great Streets, um, we have a, a, a great team um, that we've pulled together for Great Streets. Um, Andre Byers um, is going to be on point um, coordinating uh, from DEMPED. Um, and I've told him very clearly, and also Director Pettigrew, um, that uh, Georgia Avenue is at first and highest priority. Um, I see them both standing over there right now. Um, um, actually, won't you two guys come up here? Um, because I'm going to begin um, a, a process of experimenting. We had um, a, a, a four, three rounds so far on 8th Street, um, and it has made a huge difference on 8th Street. As a matter of fact, um, Brian Kenner, my chief of staff, um, Andre Byers, um, and a number of other of our staff people who are here um, really put their shoulders into it and, and really have helped uh, start a transformation on 8th Street. I mean, a lot of people have seen what has been going on, but some of the merchants were having trouble making that transition. That's what this money is for. 
um, from five to eighty-five thousand dollars for interior improvements, exterior improvements, for um, re-merchandising your store, um, for um, really setting it up so that it can compete. Ah, oui, le maire uh, Vincent Grichetta a assuré là de son équipe et uh, celui uh, qui vient I'm donner les détails là maintenant, c'est le directeur des projets, qui dit que les entreprises, uh, les hommes d'affaires ont de 5 à 85 000 dollars pour réaménager leur boutique, pour ouvrir une boutique, pour euh, relancer leur business dans l'arrondissement, euh, dans, euh, dans la ville de Washington, DC. Il dit que c'est difficile pour les gens d'aller loin pour acheter un pizza. Il aime bien acheter son pizza euh, pas loin de sa maison. C'est pour ça que nous encourageons vraiment les entreprises de pouvoir ouvrir euh, des magasins, des boutiques euh, autour euh, de nos localités. And as everybody knows here, the small business is really like the lifeblood comme nous savons, les petits témoignants ont plus une place très importante ici dans le district de Colombia, dans la ville de Washington. Et là, c'est mon équipe. Si vous avez beaucoup de questions que vous posez, ça ne va pas être facile. Ça a toujours été difficile. De, de développer des projets. Nous avons développé des projets avec Ouattari. Mais le maire est décidé à ce que ceci se réalise. Monsieur Lou a la capacité de savoir comment travailler avec le gouvernement. J'essaie juste d'amener deux points ici des gens qui m'entourent et qui aident vraiment à ce que nous réalisons ce projet. Je pense avec ça, je vais passer la parole à, à un de mes adjoints.
a fun time. Kids were jumping up and down. Uh, Santa Claus came in, and you could not contain the excitement in the room. And, and I can tell you uh, today, uh, for me, it is just as, as exciting. Uh, today is just as, as an exciting day as, as it was for those kids those days. A lot of work has gone into the release of the funds for Gray Streets. Uh, every day, there isn't a day that goes by that the deputy mayor doesn't see me in the hallway, and he looks me dead in the eye, and he says, get it done. And so today is a testament to both leaderships uh, from these, uh, these both de dedicated men. And so, again, I just wanted to reiterate, uh, graystreets.dc.gov is where you can find information on, on the grants. Uh, I think it is a testament to uh, the one point billion dollar leakage that is going outside of D.C. And so this is just another effort by this administration to go after that, to reduce that number, and not only doing it downtown, but going into your neighborhoods, into your communities to actually improve and in increase the amount of retail in your neighborhoods. Thank you. Et donc comme ça, l'équipe choc hein, du maire d'Alexandre euh, qui a tour à tour pris la parole là pour expliquer les détails euh, de ce projet de lancement de soutien des petites et moyennes entreprises dans la ville de Washington DC. Nous écoutons le maire de DC. Uh, it's on the perimeter of the city, uh, there for people who live in the city, and frankly those who may be coming in the city. Walter Reed is the same thing for those who live in this area, uh, as well as people who may live in Silver Spring or other areas contiguous uh, to Silver Spring and will come in and shop. Same thing with St. Elizabeth's on the other side of the city. It's essentially on the perimeter of the city. We'll, be, we'll create amenities for those who live in that area of the city and those who we hope will come in and shop. So. Not only are we trying to stem the flow of dollars out of the city, we're actually trying to become more attractive to bring business into the city, which will create tax dollars that will then be used to continue to grow our city. Um, I think uh, the Dakota project alone will generate over 30 years, uh, I think Victor was around $34 million in tax dollars. Per year. Well, well, not $34 million a year. $634 million, yeah, yeah, $20 million a year. $634 million over 30 years, uh, which is a huge uh, contribution, obviously, to uh, the wherewithal of the city to be able to support itself. So $634 million over a period of 30 years, which if you do the math, is obviously about $20 million a year just for one project alone. I don't think we have any estimates for Walter Reed uh, yet or... Le maire euh, Drake a ajouté là que le gouvernement a mis pratiquement en place 635 millions euh, de dons pour les petites et moyennes entreprises depuis quelques années. Et il dit que ça a valu près de 20 millions par projet. Et là, nous allons ouvrir les quatre questions de points. Go ahead, Tony. All right. Uh, for George Avenue, uh, I, a little bit of a clarification. Is there a geographical limit, like if from certain street and uh, north to the district line, or is it the whole George Avenue? In other words, are, is it being restricted to the upper George Avenue? And if so, what are the boundaries? Uh, I, I, don't, I think that it's pretty much the entire of Georgia Avenue. Uh, certainly will go to the, the line, the Maryland line. And we'll probably go as far south as Howard Oui, la question posée tout à l'heure était de savoir uh, si c'est okay. le projet est pour tous les gens qui habitent tout le long du Georgia Avenue. Et s'il n'y a pas de limite, le maire dit que ça commence à la frontière entre Georgia et Maryland. Et ça monte jusqu'à à la fin de Georgia Avenue, c'est-à-dire le début de cette recette. Plutôt hein, jusqu'à 7e Avenue, hein, après Georgia Avenue. RFP, I think it is, out for the Blockbuster space that's right on Georgia Avenue here, or I, I saw something come across, you know, I think it came out of your office. I don't know, we'll find out. It, uh, it was 
Department of DGS. Oh, to General Services. Okay, and and I had been talking to uh, uh, Councilman Bowser's office about maybe using that for an artist incubator, and um, I mean, it, unfortunately, the. the property was owned by the district and left in unbelievably bad repair and uh, but I was sort of curious I mean that would be a fantastic site for an art place and an artist incubator and it's a great location and uh, right at, you know Lui là notre sœur la plaide pour euh, l'art euh, euh, les, les médias et l'art hein, ont dit que ça aurait été magnifique si ils avaient un beau site artistique dans la zone aussi. Oui, le maire dit qu'il compatit à cette idée, que c'est une bonne idée et qu'ils vont voir comment ils peuvent encourager également ce genre de projet tout le long de Georgia Avenue. Pour ceux qui ont des projets dans le domaine de l'art et des musées, parce qu'il dit qu'il c'est un atout pour euh, euh, l'été, pour la période d'été. Il dit que cette communauté a besoin des galeries d'art et qu'elle euh, avait un, un, un projet il y a quelque temps euh, de recueillir les fonds pour euh, lancer sa galerie. Euh, mais les choses apparemment n'ont pas marché comme il fallait. Et le maire lui rassure qu'il faut rendre de l'air mieux pour l'encourager. Je prends deux questions de plus. La question into attracting customers, attracting businesses, and it's woefully inadequate. Right now, um, community organizations are trying to fill the gap. Il parle, il plaît de pour le ville qui a un niveau sur la route. Il dit que ça aurait été bien si les compagnies ou entreprises venaient s'installer là. Parce que le vide laissé par l'hôpital Ouattari, ça crée un espace très vif, selon lui. Et il pense que ce serait mieux de laisser les entreprises venir s'installer à ce niveau. Le mec qui lui dit qu'ils prendront toutes leurs euh, propositions en considération. Euh, notre frère dit qu'il a, il a sa petite entreprise en technologie. Il dit qu'il avait sa petite entreprise, mais le fait qu'on a mis les taxes sur les petits entrepreneurs en technologie, vraiment, ne lui a pas donné la chance de pouvoir être à la hauteur. Thank you very much for your question. You probably know that you know obviously that uh, in the Technology Sector Enhancement Act, we attempted to reduce uh, to, to encourage angel investors. We attempted to reduce the amount of money on earnings for technology investment. Uh, uh, right now, right now is is almost not. Donc, il dit 
ça a attiré de plus en plus de gens. Tous les points qui ont été donnés ici euh, seront pris en considération et on verra comment nous pouvons apporter notre soutien. C'est mieux que les gens reçoivent, même si c'est pas 3 que de ne rien recevoir. Ils sont en train de revoir aussi la commission sur les taxes. Nous supportons toutes les idées et nous allons faire exactement ce que vous demandez. Merci beaucoup d'être venu. C'était donc la, la fin de cette conférence très importante sur le lancement des projets de petites et moyennes entreprises, l'encouragement. Euh, par les, euh, le gouvernement de Washington d'ici de supporter hein, les entrepreneurs, les hommes d'affaires, les petites et moyennes entreprises. Et c'était tout aussi. Euh, nous allons prendre une interview du maire. Well, the Great Streets program that we're talking about is limited to the geography that I mentioned earlier. In this instance, uh, all of Georgia Avenue. Um, and of course, we want to try to help promote the small businesses in these areas, but also encouraging additional small businesses. So it's pretty wide open once you get to this specific uh, geographic area. Yeah, we know there's some store around here that is uh, belong to African community. I'm speaking about Africa because our media is most based from African community. Do those living here in Georgia when you have store here as African can come and apply for that program as well? Yeah, if, if they have a small business or they want to develop a small business, they're eligible. Thank you. C'était dans l'âme web interview avec le maire. Nous lui avons demandé d'abord les conditions qu'il fallait remplir pour appliquer à ce programme, pour être qualifié à ce programme. Il nous a dit que, hormis les frontières dont il a parlé, les limitations, c'est-à-dire que c'est le monde des gens qui vivent dans les paraphériques de Georgia Avenue, de Seth Street, de North Capitol Street aussi à North East peuvent appliquer à ce programme et en plus nous lui avons demandé si euh, nous savons que les Africains hein, sont sur la Georgia Avenue qui ont des, des boutiques ou des petites euh, entreprises sont qualifiés également pour appliquer à ce programme de mer. Il a dit tout le monde qui habite Washington DC et dans la géographie, euh, dans la, la, la zone géographique euh, qui est supposée euh, être appliquée dans ce programme peut appliquer sur ce programme. Donc, à part Africa TV, c'est pas tout ici, nous devons rejeter en ici pour couvrir la conférence de lancement du programme euh, des dons euh, alloués par le gouvernement américain, euh, la ville de Washington DC, aux petites et moyennes entreprises pour les aider à se relancer, à créer le travail comme vous avez entendu le maire, à les encourager à multiplier les activités dans la zone de Washington DC et surtout et surtout à augmenter le taux de taxes, euh, comme il a dit, euh, pour le paiement de taxes afin que le gouvernement en profite aussi. Euh, C'était tout ici, je vous ai fait un comme d'habitude, je serai toujours là pour vous servir. C'est un plaisir, c'est un honneur. Partout où le monde bougera, nous y serons pour vous. Euh, après Africa TV, c'est fait pour après mon Afrique TV, restez connectés. Euh, nous implorons une fois de plus encore le vote du corps. Nous en avons besoin pour que ce projet continue. Nous vous servirons partout au monde que je Au revoir, restez connectés et à bientôt. Bye.